a reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses and Aaron did many wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he did not let the sons of Israel go out of his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall be for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the tenth day of this month they shall take every man a lamb according to their father's houses a lamb for a household and if the household is too small for a lamb then a man and his neighbor next to his house shall take according to the number of persons According to what each man can eat, you shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, or male, or year old. You shall take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month when the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lambs in the evening. Then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat them. They shall eat the flesh that night roasted with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall eat it. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled with water, but roasted, its head with its legs and its inner parts. And you shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. In this manner you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, on your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall fall upon you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as an ordinance forever. <laughs> 